Welcome to the CalPADS Data Coordinator Orientation. This session is an introduction to CalPADS and other statewide educational systems. To learn how to use CalPADS, you will need to complete the CalPADS basic sessions. The goals of this session are to familiarize participants with the various state reporting systems, introduce some of the most commonly used acronyms and terminology related to reporting, the rough timelines of when the data need to be reported, and examples of how the data are used. We will identify the key local staff involved in the collection, reporting, and verification of data, and the specific responsibilities of all staff with access to student data. Then we will outline next steps for new data coordinators and how to get more information and additional training. This course will benefit new data coordinators and staff new to education. It is not intended for experienced CalPAD staff. This session is the first of the CalPADS training series, which are designed to provide new users with a general understanding of the CalPAD system and its basic functionality. There will be more about the other training opportunities later in this session. Let's review our statewide education data systems. State and federal legislation specify what data are required to be reported and the timelines for reporting those data and how the data are used. Some of the key acts are the Local Control Funding Formula, or LCFF, which was enacted in 2013 as part of the State Budget Act. It revamped the way schools are financed, provided for local decision making, and required the development of an accountability system to measure school progress using multiple factors. The Every Student Succeeds Act, or ESSA, is federal legislation enacted in 2015. It reauthorized the Elementary and Secondary Education Act, ESEA, and provided for accountability and action to affect positive change in the lowest performing schools. No Child Left Behind, NCLB, enacted in 2002, put measures in place to expose achievement gaps among traditionally underserved students and their peers. NCLB was replaced by ESSA. The statewide systems are CalPANS, the California Longitudinal Pupil Achievement Data System, CBEDSORA, the California Basic Educational Data System Online Reporting Application, Opus CDS, the Online Public Update for Schools, County District Schools, and CARS, the Consolidated Application and Reporting System. CalPADS is the foundation of California's educational data systems. CalPADS data are used in funding calculations, accountability measures, state and federal reporting, assessments, program evaluation, the local control accountability plan evaluation rubrics, and for research purposes. CalPADS processing is based on unique identifiers, the Statewide Student Identifier, or SSID, and the Statewide Educator ID, or SEED. There are two different statewide identifiers. Both are unique 10-digit randomly generated non-personally identifiable numbers. The first is the statewide student identifier or SSID, which are requested through CalPADS. All students are required to be reported in CalPADS when they enroll. When students initially enroll, an SSID is requested. The SSID should follow students through their K-12 years, and they should have only one throughout that time. When requesting an SSID, it is important to select the correct one if the student was previously reported in CalPADS, and if they are new, they will need to have a new one assigned. With CalPADS, the best practice is to maintain SSIDs throughout the year, but the frequency should reflect your student mobility rates. Taking care to th select the correct SSID up front will reduce the time needed to resolve problems later. We recommend that you adopt strategies to prevent errors, referred to as anomalies, which occur when a student has more than one SSID and when students share the same SSID. For more information on anomalies, we recommend that you participate in the training which covers what anomalies are and how to resolve them. The other identifier is the statewide, statewide Educator Identifier, or SEED. That ID is issued by the California Commission on Teacher Credentialing. 
It is required for all certificated staff, not just teachers, but also of all administrators and pupil services staff, any position that requires a credential or authorization. Seeds are provided to the county offices of education, who then distribute to their districts and independently reporting charter schools. For questions regarding seeds, contact the credentials credential analysts in your district or at the county office of education. The seed is required for reporting staff information. Seeds may also op be optionally obtained for non-certificated administrators or non-certificated non-core charter school teachers by applying for a certificate of clearance. Anytime a student enrolls or exits in a California K-12 public school, that information should be reported in CalPADS, along with demographics, programs that students are eligible for and programs in which they participate, their English language acquisition status, and at specific times during the year, additional information is reported, including course enrollment and course completion, staff teaching those classes and other certificated staff, disciplinary incidents, student attendance, career tech ed participants, concentrators and completers, graduates and other completers and dropouts, and students with disabilities. CalPads is a web-based system. All that is needed to access it is a browser and an account. Data comes directly from the LEAs most commonly through extracting it from local student information systems and uploading into CalPADS. Alternatively, data can be entered directly into CalPADS or uploaded from Excel spreadsheets. Starting in the 2019-20 school year, data from local special ed information systems regarding students with disabilities will also be uploaded into CalPADS. Enrollment and demographic data are extracted from CalPADS and used to match the California Department of Social Service, the CalFresh, CalWorks, and Medi-Cal systems to directly certify students as eligible for free and reduced price meals. And also from the Child Welfare System Case Management System to identify foster youth. Data is also extracted from CalPads during the assessment windows and loaded into the Testing Operations Management System, or TOMS, so students can be digitally assessed. Course and certificated staff data from CalPads will be matched with the California Commission on Teacher Credentialing to identify potential misassignments. The data matches include direct certification, which are monthly matches with the State Department of Social Services, CalWorks, CalFresh, and Medi-Cal data systems to directly certify students eligible for free and or reduced price meals. Weekly matches with the State Department of Social Services Child Welfare Case Management System to identify foster youth. And assignment monitoring, which is an annual match following the Fall 2 submission with the California Commission on Teacher Credentialing to identify potential misassignments. CalPads reflects two different types of data. The current data in the Operational Data Store, or ODS, is what is in CalPads at any given time. It reflects the frequent ongoing updates and is used for reporting, data matches, the four-year graduation cohort, loading into the assessment system, and for generating accountability indicators and subgroups. The certified data, or snapshot data, reflect either a specific point in time, like census day, or a specified data range, a specified date range. Information day is always the first Wednesday in October, and it's also referred to as Census Day, and some also refer to it as Seabeds Day.